Well, what do you need it for? I don't. I just think it's cool. Why do you have it in your hand then? Because I'm... Put it away. <laughs> you know what? That's how things get lost. Right, Tim? Hey, Teresa. You want to film this here while you're picking your nose? So pretty. Ready. You ready? Okay, so what are we doing here? Fixing we just put new coils and new, see all the dead coils? I put some new lethal, lethal voltage coils on. I was trying to get Timothy to hold one end while I turned it on. He wouldn't do it. <laughs> no, he Because he didn't like the lethality of it. It sounded lethal. Uh, we put new plugs in. Go change the oil and the and the fuel filter. fuel filter. Yeah, I knew it was a fuel filter. So I changed the oil and fuel filter, oil filter, oil, oil filter and fuel. We put super synthetic in there. Oh. All right, we use Mobile One, right? Yeah. And a little bit I use Mobile One. It's a good alternative to. And a little bit of Lucas. You didn't put Lucas in there, did you? Uh, a little bit. Why? Why not? Because I didn't want it in there. That's why not. These people just waste my shit. It was his. That's mine. I yeah, right. It. Oh, it was his because it was in his possession, but it's a funny thing how I get the bills from these people and there's like, oh, Lucas. That's okay. I buy my own. Yeah. I don't, I don't go to Napa for my own stuff. Oh, so anyways, we've got, we got uh, that part done. Let me see that camera real quick and I'll show you. These, these things are real cocksuckers. I gave them the hard side. I knew the passenger side was always the hard side. And I did these. You see the nice yellow coils down in there and uh, new plugs. Uh, and of course now we're going to go ahead and figure that mess out. I don't know why that got took off of there. Where'd you go? Will you get him out of there? He's not that cold. Anyway, um, we should probably put a new belt on this as well. I don't know of how it looks. Are you done? Just need to get this a little grease. Yeah. Put that spray lithium grease over there. You can put that on. And, uh, huh? No, that's another video for another time. I do have to do that though. It's right there in a green can. Put that shit down. You always. I'm gonna throw that box in the trash because you're not supposed to even touch it. Well, I, I swear to God. Oh, it's a new box. It's a shiny new toy. Let's pick it up. Let's pick I it up. I knew there was lithium grease in that box. I didn't know. See, you had see, this. see. You should have kept your yeah, grubby I fingers thought. off of it. You're not allowed to have that. I didn't. I didn't know you had this. I thought that's what you were talking about. You're gonna spray that so that you can get it done. You gotta push those down because they're like a press fit deal. Well, they're pushed in. You sure? I only need this one a little bit pieced. Okay. Anyway, so we're doing that. Joe, get that thing there. He doesn't need it. And then you're gonna hold the camera because. My wife didn't do it. My wife didn't do it. Shit. That's my wife. My wife. <laughs> Here you go. What you got? What you got? What you got? Well, we would have had a whole lot easier deal with this, but someone decided they would do something kind of fucked up and take Why this thing all apart. Why would you put that on drill? <laughs> to watch you do what you just did? <laughs> Because it's funny. Do you what I'm it? trying to figure out is why in the hell you guys did this. Why did you take this apart? There's something in there. Hey, what you the got to put some wire back in there. Well, that's what I'm trying to figure out. Why? Well, you yeah, got... I needed room so I'd get the damn power steering lines. You ain't got to no power steering lines yet. All right. You got to change it, your mind. So this is Laurel and Hardy, or the Three Stooges, uh... Repair shop. You ever see that video movie? Mm -mm. No. Are you serious? You don't know. You don't know who the Three Stooges are? I know what Three Stooges no, no, no. are. You don't know who the Three Stooges are. I know what that's three, three Stooges. This, my ex-husband watched those shit. You had an ex-husband? Yes. Yeah, I'm hoping. There. Okay. Oh, Floydberg does that. Mm -hmm. Where's the other? Keep working, keep working. Do I need that thing apart? 
Do we need that out of there to get to these lines or what? Yeah. Oh, why didn't you say something? I just did! All right. Okay, you're right. I wasn't listening. I think I heard something about it. All right, so we're just playing around. Uh, yeah, so we've got a lot of things that need to be done. Uh, these are the power steering lines that belong in this truck so we can actually steer it. Yeah. His dad didn't really, well, I don't think he ever took it to the uh, car wash to wash it. And it's pretty crusty underneath there. Wow. Um, so, yeah, so the power steering lines rusted away. So I got new power steering lines. We're going to put those in uh, here. Timothy's going to be doing, what are you finishing up there? Is this thing ready to start? Yeah. Start it. Start it now. Start it. Start it up. I want to hear it start. Start it, Tim. Chill. Start it, Tim. Come on, Tim. Start it. Make sure it's in park, Tim. Yeah, please make sure it's in park. Yeah, don't run over my son. I kick your ass. Nope. Come on. Oil. Patay. Patay. He's called them. Give it some gas. Patay. Tie you with duct tape and watch you squirm, you little shit. Yeah. It's like, hey, we're gonna film this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's how it goes. Mm. So, anyway, oh. so anyway, so those coils, they have oil in them around the spark plugs for some stupid reason. I have no idea why. Uh, the spark plugs actually came out pretty easy. I expected it to be quite a nightmare, but I think there was one of them that was super loose. Well, Tim was super loose too when he came out. But Jesus! <laughs> anyway, I watched it. Anyways, the. Uh, what's the matter? Stinky! You're stinky. Mm. I farted really. Uh, what else was I going to say? Oh, so anyway, so they, we put all new coils, all new plugs, and that's the oil must have went down in the cylinder and caused it to jam up. Uh, I have this job to do. This is fun. not a fun job. Fun, These fun, suck. fun. But they're actual Ford. Not cool. Yes, I bought Fords because I put the non-Ford ones in my uh, in my F2 150. 150. And I've had two sets in them, and the bitch is cracked again. Yep. Again. Yeah. So we're gonna put these new manifolds on. Price for the manifolds was 400 and some odd dollars for the manifolds and and the studs. And of course, oh, they're all in here. Studs, gaskets, all that other happy horse shit is in here. They're copper. It's it's weird. Um, the ones that these are copper. The ones that were in there originally were steel, and then the ones that you get aftermarket are actually a stainless steel. Mm -hmm. But Ford decided that copper would be the best way to go. I I didn't know whether it would react or not, but they cost a pretty penny. Because <laughs> they're Cause copper. It's copper. Uh -huh. <laughs> anyway, so that'll be job. The next job to do is pull these manifolds off. Can't make hay today. Yesterday was an anomaly. We made some. <laughs> he doesn't. He's not happy with the Ford. Well, I'm. Not, I gotta say, I'm not entirely thrilled either. There's an oil pump or a power steering pump that's down and underneath there, and it's what's got three bolts. Yeah. Well, get those needle nose pliers and pull that hose off of there. You can do that from here. How much oil is in the damn thing? Nothing. It's all pumped out of the ground on the ground unless you put more in it today. 
All right. Oh, God. It's empty. Did you put more in it today? No. Okay. You're fine. Okay, so here's the deal. Here's the deal. Yeah, a lot of people explained to me why this frame was not a flat top versus, you know, flat on the top like the one out of 350, and that's because it's a glider. Once upon a time, I did know that, but, of course, with age and time, I forgot about it. And uh, when somebody had mentioned it, I was like, duh, I guess you're right. So anyway, with that being said, uh, I've had to add 11 inches to the back of this thing. So Carl had some six inch channel iron and we've added 11 inches to the back of it. And the other one that one of probably many of my subscribers have told me that the width of this frame is different than the width of a cab chassis model truck. Well, you are correct. What is it, two and a half inches? Yeah. It's like 34 and a quarter from the outside to the outside of the other frame, and it's actually 37 and three quarters to the, it's two and a half inches wider. So what we've decided to do, or what I've decided to do, Joe's just along for the ride, is I've got these pieces of angle iron here. Ugh, yes, these lovely pieces of angle. Ang angular steel and in order for this to actually function somewhat correctly I need to the fuel tank is in the way right the fuel tank is in the way it sticks up approximately three inches above the frame so on a cab chassis model the fuel tank is actually in the back at least the model that I'm looking at <coughs> there's a huge difference in the connectors here. So I robbed this end, this pigtail off of the uh, off of the old bed that I took off of here. This is actually for the trailer hitch which I, which I will probably no longer be needing and uh, what I'm going to do is because it only attaches at the very front and the very back of the the bed is I'm going to use these angular pieces and I'm going to raise it up about three and a half inches to the top like a so. And I'm going to weld that sucker fast and that I can mount the bed onto these here, which will give me enough clearance in underneath here for anything that I really need to do to the to the truck in, in the future. So I've got four of these, two for the front, two for the back. Nothing attaches in the middle at all, which I was kind of surprised, but nothing attaches. There is a thing that hangs down towards the front of that that had two bolts in it, but it is so crusty and rusty it's not even worth bothering with uh, putting it on and it doesn't contribute to any of the structural strength of it other than maybe the floor but there's not going to be anything really heavy thrown up in there bailing twine and a welder or something should work um, but yeah so that's what we're up to Joe's got them ground somewhat you don't even have that down to get that cleaned up better what are you smoking crack what are you grinding that thing with your own finger it's still full of rust. I don't know. I the welder have, won't. Well, I have my glasses on. I can't see. There yeah, that's full of rust. Dirt. Make sparks. I did. Make bigger sparks. So, anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna weld these fast because honestly, I am not going to ever take that bed off of here ever. It's going on here, and that's the end of it. A lot of people say, "Oh, you can grind." A lot of people say, "Oh, you should just bolt it." Well, I'm not gonna bolt it. I'm gonna do it my way, this way. And then I, when I get that bed on there, I'm gonna center it over the holes where it belongs and then burn them through and put the bolts down through it. There is not enough room between here and here. There's five and a half inches of space in there and that bed it has a five and a half inch piece. It'll hit here or it's going to hit the back of the cab. So I have to do it this way. So anyway, I'm going to start. Okay, so here you're going to watch this in fast motion. I had to climb underneath there and torch these studs off of this manifold. It is not a fun job. Sparks and other things happen. I got burned. Burned right through my clothes, right to the back of my arm where there's a ginormous blister there now that popped during the night. Sucked. Um, yeah, just not a pleasant job. Anybody that's done these manifolds, it's not pleasant. And I have to do it on the red truck now. Uh, this truck here... I changed them both. I changed one last night. I changed the other one today. Uh, and it just it's just a crappy job. Anybody that's done it knows how crappy a job it is. But it only takes, you know, a couple hours. A couple hours to do it. Uh, broken off studs and things like that. They're a real pain in the neck. And 
Uh, one of these days I'll demonstrate on how to do that correctly with a MIG welder. But anyways, thanks for watching. See you next time. And we're still recording. So you get to see my ugly mug. I was just doing a lot of voiceover, you know, and that sort of thing. But uh, yeah, one of these days I will show you all how to weld into the, the head of a Ford pickup truck to get this stud attached to a nut so you can back it off. Um, but until then, thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe for more.